दिलों में प्यार की खुशबू तो होठो पर दुआ रखना दिलों में प्यार की खुशबू तो होठो पर दुआ रखना ईमा में वक्त से एक रिश्ता इश्को वफा रखना ईमा में वक्त से एक रिश्ता Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome back to another episode of Friday Sermon for Kids. Today I am once again joined by two incredible panelists. Haris, Hassan, are you both ready for today's discussion? I'm ready to learn and also teach your audience something along the way. I'm ready as well. That is very good to hear. Now in this week's Friday Sermon, Hazur talked about the martyrdom of Hazrat Khubab Rizalanho and the truly inspiring way he dealt with the last few moments in his life. He also appealed for the prayers of the dire conditions within the world today. And that is what we're going to be discussing in this week's episode. Now, let's listen to a clip from this week's Friday Sermon. کہ اگر تم اسلام سے رجوع کر لو تو ہم تمہارا راستہ چھوڑ دیں گے لیکن اگر تم نے رجوع نہ کیا تو ہم تمہیں قتل کر دیں گے حضرت خویب نے کہا اللہ کے راستے میں میرا قتل تو ایک معمولی بات ہے پھر گویا ہوئے اے اللہ یہاں کوئی اثر نہیں جو اس وقت تیرے رسول تک میرا سلام پہنچا دے اس لیے اے خدا تو خود آ حضرت صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کو میرا سلام پہنچا دے now, before we get into our discussion, I want to do one more thing, and that is to ask both of you what you both learned from this week's Friday sermon. Haris, why don't you start us off? I learned that even in the harshest conditions, Azikha Bebri Zitalanhu continued to have faith in Allah and showed how much he was dedicated to Islam. Very well done. Hassan, what about you? I learned that God will always be there for those who believe in Him and have a strong connection with Islam. That is very well done. Now, once again, I want to mention that Hazur talked about the martyrdom of Hazrat Khubayr Anhu, and that is what we're going to be discussing. So without further ado, let's get into discussing this topic. Now, I want to ask both of you, can, can you both give me a few details about what Hazur mentioned about the martyrdom of Hazrat Khubayr Anhu specifically? Hazur spoke about how the disbelievers threatened to kill Hazrat Khubayr Anhu on a wooden structure similar to the cross. But Hazrat Khubayr Anhu replied that this wasn't concerning if you were to die in the way of Allah. That is exactly right. Now, Hazur then quoted Hazrat Muslim Anhu who stated, that when Hazrat Khubayr Anhu realized that his martyrdom was imminent, he requested the Quraysh for the opportunity to perform two rakat. The Quraysh, as an excuse to make fun of Islam, granted Hazrat Khubayr Anhu the permission to perform these two rakat. And so, Hazrat Khubayr Anhu performed these, these rakat with great attention and concentration. And once Hazrat Khubayr Anhu completed these two rakat, he turned toward the Quraysh and stated that I wanted to prolong my salat even more, but a thought occurred to me that you may assume I wanted to prolong my salat for the sake of avoiding death. Then Hazrat Khubayr Anhu reciting this couplet stated, when I am being martyred, I do not care which flank I fall upon after being martyred. All of this is for the sake of God, and if my God so wills, He shall bless my every severed limb. Wow! Hazrat Khubayb really inspires bravery for Islam. His dedication towards the Holy Prophet وسلم, and Islam is incredibly inspiring. I completely agree. Hazur also mentioned that Hazrat Khubayb prayed to Allah Ta'ala that may the Holy Prophet وسلم, be informed of his condition and his message of peace be conveyed to the Holy Prophet as well. Now, 
one day, Holy Prophet Sallallahu received a re- revelation of this condition of the Hazrat Khubar Anhu, and Hazrat Jibreel Alayhi also conveyed the message of peace that Hazrat Khubar Anhu prayed for. Zir also stated that Hazrat Abu Huraira Anhu has narrated that Hazrat Khubab Anhu was the first companion to offer two rakat of prayer before being killed. Yeah, he also quoted that Ibn Hajar al Asqalani said that Hazrat Khubab Anhu prayed, O oh Allah, count my enemies so that revenge may be exacted on them. And that is exactly right. And expanding on this quote, Hazur stated that Hazrat Khubab Anhu said, Kill them all one by one and do not let any of them remain. And once the Quraysh heard this, some of them fell to the ground in fear that this curse of Hazrat Khubab Anhu may become true. And those that did not fall to the ground in fear died not even a year later. Hazur then stated that this claim cannot be supported by other narrations, but it can be stated that many of these individuals were either killed or they converted to Islam during the conquest of Mecca. And this, as Hazur stated, was the fulfillment of the prayer that Hazrat Khubar Anhu made. Hazur also mentioned a biographer who has written that when the disbelievers heard this prayer of Hazrat Khubab Anhu, they froze in fear, knowing that it would be fulfilled. And according to the biographer, some of them covered their ears and fled, while others hid behind one another and climbed up trees and laid on the ground. They are hoping they would be saved from the prayer. That's exactly right. And Hazur also mentioned that later on, of these individuals who accepted Islam, whenever Hazrat Khubar Anhu's name was mentioned, they would either lose consciousness out of fear or be struck with awe. Now, I think it's a good time to transition into our next segment, which is Word of the Sermon. So, let's give our good friend Ubaidur Rahman the stage to give us a little bit more understanding of what this word is. Jazakallah, guys. So, I have an Urdu compound word here today with birth words of Ashike Rasul. Being originally Arabic, the first word, Ashik, means one who loves, while the second word is Rasul, which means messenger. In Islamic context, the term messenger always refers to the Holy Prophet So the full word, Ashik Rasul, refers to anyone who loves the Holy Prophet. Hope that helps. Back over to you guys. Jazakallah Badur Rahman for the excellent explanation. It is always helpful to have you here to better help us understand what Hazu talked about in his Friday sermon. Now, let's get back into our discussion. Hazu mentioned that after the martyrdom of Hazrat Khubab Rizdara Anho, the Quraysh assigned 40 individuals to safeguard the body of Hazrat Khubab Rizdara Anho once it was put on the cross. 40 days later, however, the Holy Prophet وسلم, tasked Hazrat Migdad Anhu and Hazrat Zubair Anhu to go to the site of Hazrat Khubar Anhu's body and retrieve it. And so both of these individuals went to this site and found that all of the 40 guards were in deep sleep. And so during this time, Hazrat Zubair Anhu and Hazrat Migdad Anhu took Hazrat Khubar Anhu's body off the cross. And Hazrat Zubair Anhu put Hazrat Khubar Anhu's body on his horse and they departed. Now, once the Quraysh learned of this incident, they put together a force of 70 individuals and they went in pursuit of Hazrat Zubair Anhu and Hazrat Migdar Anhu. Now, as the Quraysh approached, Hazrat Zubair Anhu took Hazrat Khubar Anhu's body off of his horse and put it on the ground. And he looked towards the Quraysh and stated that you either face us or die, or you return. And so the Quraysh, after hearing Hazrat Zubair Anhu's words, were struck with so much awe that they turned around and they went back unsuccessful. Now, can both of you tell me what happened to Hazrat Khubair Anhu's body during this event? Sure, Fran Bhai. As you stated, when Hazrat Zubair Anhu looked down to find a body, it wasn't there. 
Because of this, Hazrat Khabib Raziyatullah Anhu was given the title, The One Swallowed by the Ground. There were several strange narrations about where the body went, but I'm not sure which one's true. I think I can help you with that. Now, Hazur mentioned that there were a few different narrations, but one seems to be true. And that is that Hazrat Khubayr Rizdalano's body ended up in the river and it was taken away from that site. Now, from this we can learn that Allah Ta'ala safeguards the body of those individuals that sacrifice everything for the sake of Allah and truly and deeply love Allah. And even after death, Allah Ta'ala safeguards these individuals and their belongings. And we see that in the case of Hazrat Khubayr Rizdala Anhu. Wow, Allah cares deeply for the believers that pull their full faith into Him. I find it really amazing the way Hazur continues to give us inspirational examples of companions of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah continue to bless our beloved Hazur. Amen. Now I think it is a very good time to take a little break and move into our next segment, which is question of the sermon. So for that, I hope you both are ready. Now boys, we are finally at the question of the sermon. Now, as always, I will give you the question and then 10 seconds to think of the answer. So without further ado, here is your question. In Hazur's Friday sermon, Hazur stated that Hazrat Abu Hurairah Anhu said that Hazrat Khubayr Anhu was the first companion to do what before he was martyred? Now here are your four options. Option A, offer sadqa. Option B, offer two rakat. Option C, fight the enemy. Or option D, be imprisoned. Now your 10 seconds start now. Your time is up. Now, Paris, why don't you give me the answer first? I'm going with B. Nice. Me too. I'm going with B, two rakat. Excellent job, you two. You got it both right. Hazur mentioned that Hazrat Khubayr Rizal Anho was the first companion to be given the opportunity to offer two rakat before being martyred. Now, let's continue with our discussion. Now, Hazur mentioned that we should all be praying for the dire condition of the world right now, especially for Palestine. Hazur mentioned that the condition in Palestine has exceeded all bounds. And so we should pray that may Allah protect these individuals from the oppressors uh, within the world. Hazur also stated that we should pray for the condition within Sudan, where even Muslims are murdering other Muslims. Hazur prayed that may these people see sense and find order. Hazur also stated that we should pray for the captors in Yemen and we should pray for the Ahmadis in Pakistan who always are facing the oppression within that country. Hazur stated that during Eid or as Eid approaches, the oppression from the other individuals is especially bad towards Ahmadis. So we should pray for their protection. May Allah guide the entire world towards peace and sense and may these individuals who are causing so much oppression across the globe be taken into justice. All right, boys, and that brings us to the end of today's episode. Why don't we give our audience a little recap of what we learned in this week's episode. Hazur talked about the faith-inspiring martyrdom of Hazrat Qubayb, Hazrat Allah Anho, and how he was the first companion to offer two rakats before he was killed. Hazur also stated that Hazrat Qubayb, Hazrat Allah Anho, was strong in his faith till the end, and how Allah looked after him even after his death. Very well done, Haris and Hassan. And Hazur, at the very end of his Friday sermon, also announced the funeral prayers for two members of the Jamaat. Now, I can see that you both learned a lot from today's episode and discussion, and I hope you continue to learn in the future Friday sermons of Hazur. With that, we come to the end of this week's episode. Make sure to watch a full Friday sermon in your own time. Until next time, Khuda Hafiz! <laughs>
مسلسل رابطہ رکھنا امام وقت سے ایک رشتہ عشق و وفا رکھنا دلوں میں پیار کی خوشبو تو ہونٹوں پر دعا رکھنا امام وقت سے ایک رشتہ عشق و وفا رکھنا امام وقت سے ایک رشتہ عشق و وفا رکھنا